huomenta, Roy Rissanen täällä taas. Se ei ole seuraavan päivä, mitä mä sanoin viimeisen, viimeisen uh, video. How do you say video? En tiedä. Mutta se on ollut pari päivää nyt. Se voi, have, se voi, sin, se voi, it might have been a couple, more than a couple days, maybe a week. Se voi, vois, hän, se vois hän ollut melkein viikko, 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 viikko loppu. Mutta mä oon uh, harjoittamassa, harjoittamassa minun suomen kieli vielä pikkusen joku pe- joko päivä. Mä en ollut lukemassa tämä. Mä oon tehnyt pikkusen uh, harjoittamassa uh, uh, opi- opitelus, opitelus, su- te- 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 samaan lain, samaan lain uh, um, instructions, courses, reading. Um, Dave, I did start practicing my alphabet. Thank you for the recommendation. So I will uh, I will keep practicing on that and uh, trying to get my pronunciations right. Um, I do have something I'm going to share with you if this doesn't go too long. I got this in the mail yesterday. But, uh, they, but, um, but I want to get to this first. Um, it's a little, it was a little bit tougher than I expected. I did go back to after I read it last time, where I read this part, I did go back to the computer and ran through uh, s- sentence uh, word by word uh, uh, and tried to go through Google Translate to see what I was missing. And uh, even Google Translate didn't know a lot of the words. And then I asked some Finnish friends uh, about some of the words and even they weren't 100% sure. But uh, I guess it's a little bit more of a old, old uh, Finnish language than... Uh, not really a beginner reader book like I thought maybe I was getting into. But anyway, so where were we? So we left off. They had all just woken up and explained where everybody was sleeping. And then uh, somebody got up and realized it had snowed outside. So now we're on to this one. See that? So let's give this a shot. I haven't read ahead on this at all. I thought maybe I would, you know, at least read it through a couple times to practice before making a video, but that would be kind of defeating the point of making this video. And uh, I didn't want to do that. So for maybe for your entertainment purposes of seeing how bad I really am at reading Finnish and for my prosperity of getting through this. So let's see, let's see what we could do. Kello on vasta viisi kun, viisi kun het, hettä jo rein, hettä jo ran, rantaa nävettään lä, lä, lähmiä ruo, ruokaa ruokimaan, ruokimaan. Ruokimaan, something, something to eat, to something. I'm not really sure what they're saying in this. Anyway, um, hän, hän puhuu, hän puhtesta, hän puhtesta le, lehmät, hän puh, puhtesta lehmät juttele niille ja ly, 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 lypsi. Lypsen, lypsejä, lyp, ly, laupes, la, laupes, nä. I'm not sure what that is. Um, anyways. Uh, ravinto on, ravinto on kui, kuitenkin huono, huo, huonoa ja kes, kes, kettävällä meidän Tuoltu. Luopo, lu, luopo ko, kokoon, kokomaan. I'm not 
100% sure what I just read there, but we'll see, have to see how it goes. Heta lev, heta, heta, heta levi da bu, butteja an hei koja le men alla. Puhte, puhteja hei koja le men alla. Heitä levittää, heitä levittää puhita, he, heikkoi ja lehmen alla. Putting, putting clean hay, hay under, under the cows. I think that's a, uh, lehmen, or sheep, lehmen sheep, lehmen, lehmen. Um, lehmen. Men lanta aiotaan vasta kävellä ulos navetasta. Niinpä kävetelavalla lehmät seisovat. Aika monesin, aika monesin, often, aika monestin leijan päällä, leijan päällä. Viimeisessä navetoissa lähmeen, lähmeen. Bad. Yllättyvät kattoon asia. Lentää myös, lantaa, lantaa myös, lämmit, läm, lämmittää, lämmittää kylmäs naveita, naveita. I didn't get a lot of that. That's what I just read through there. I believe they're tending to the cows. And uh but I'm gonna I'm gonna go through that and uh practice it a couple times. Translate Google Translate, which has been interesting to see some of the things that it comes up with sometimes. And uh keep practicing so that's uh i'm gonna leave it at that for today because the last one did get long and i want to show you this so my grandmother my father's my father's mother when she was a young girl 19 years old came to canada uh, she did end up going back to finland but uh, she came to canada to work at um in Toronto as a, as a domestic uh, and as far as I understand she worked in some of the hotels there with the cleaning service so I live in Halifax where Pier 21 is where all the ships would come in and uh, and bring people to Canada from so I went on their website which uh, you can do uh, Canadian Museum of Immigration and you could go on there and uh, send in some information and they could try and research it for you. And they ended up sending me back some neat information of, uh, well, number one, the boat she came in on. Which was pretty cool. The date she came in, November, I believe it was beginning of November. Uh, da, 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 da. She was 19 years old. And she came in, what was the date? November 1st, 1929. November 1st, 1929, she came in. And so this has, there was, okay, this was, this was the ledger, basically, that, where she came in. Oh, here's a, there's a copy of all the people that came in. 
and it uh, it was all uh, all uh, young ladies all listed uh, for uh, domestic uh, coming from uh, coming from Finland and uh, yeah so that w I thought that was really interesting to s actually see that that aspect of it I've been trying to bug my father and uncles to try and give me any kind of information they might have on that uh, that part of uh, the story and history um, I have some of it but uh, she my understanding was that her aunt her parents died when she was nine her aunt raised her and then she came to Canada at 19 her aunt got sick and then she so she went back to Finland to help and that's when she met my grandfather and never ended up coming back to Canada and as the boys all grew, my father and uncles, as they grew up, she told each of them to uh, go to Canada. And that's how we all ended up in Canada. And then when my grandfather passed away in his uh, 60s uh, from a stroke, she came back. She came back to Canada then and uh, lived here until she passed in 96, 96, I'm going to say, 1996 she passed. And uh, she's buried back in Finland now with uh, with my grandfather so that uh that i found really interesting that with uh, the information you're able to find from the canadian museum of immigration at pier 21 check out their website uh, if you have uh, if you have a family that might have come through there it's uh, there's some uh you could put in some what information you know and they will try and help you find uh find the records but um it uh I often walk down on the waterfront right where, right near where the boat uh, would have come in on that uh, November, November day. I don't know what time it was. I don't think I've seen that. But, family history. So, I thought that was cool. But, uh, so I wanted to share that with you as well. And, uh, so I'm going to keep track, keep practicing reading my finish. I'm not going to read a page of this every day because I need a lot more practice. I hardly understood anything what I was actually just reading. So, but uh, eventually I will get through it and uh, be able to, uh, it'll be interesting to see once I get towards the end of the book, how much of a difference there is. But practice makes perfect, right? Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day. Miten kas tuota noin haluavatkin ottaa osaa ja kuinka aktiivisesti osallistua näihin tilaisuuksiin? Hyvin aktiivisesti ottavat osaa kaikkiin tilaisuuksiin, varsinkin eri kirkkomuntien tilaisuuksiin, luterilainen seurakunta.